اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى على جوات الاسلام ايها الاخوان في الدين السلام عليكم I'm here to represent the Professor Tajudin Yusuf Onali, who is unavoidably uh, absent. Apology from him. And I was not able to make this uh, appointment. That's why I invited him. Uh, without taking much of your time, he has given me his paper to come and deliver before you. And I will read the paper. I probably had my own agari. Uh, so, 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 so to say that, that uh, whatever I read out is from him. Whatever I say from my, my own, whatever I say from my mouth is from me. And I want to say that that's for you, that's for that. Any mistake that comes from, uh, that is from whatever I say. Um, I'm very happy and uh, feel uh, elated. I also feel humble to be in your midst. The list of our fathers and mothers who have produced professionals, when we say teachers, if you are a lawyer, if you are a banker, like someone like me, or a insurance expert, you must have passed through the teachers. And these are you, our fathers and mothers. I pray all my dear Allah to reward you and contact it, both in this world and hereafter. For the effort you have put in, even the president, he taught the president, he taught the governor, he taught the minister, he taught all professions, including those who are uh, whatever area they find themselves. So, having said that, I want to present the paper given to me by a professor and uh, the topic of discussion. I've been rightly mentioned by the, mod by the moderator of uh, the town program for today. That is, uh, the topic of discussion for today uh, is basically on uh, Islam and economy. Nigeria economy challenges, Islamic panacea. The paper given to me by Professor Tabidin, which I'm going to to read one by one, which I want us to take note, is that shutting a new corridor of interest-free economy towards a greater Nigeria, the burden of interest-based economy on Nigeria. That is the topic which also related to what you asked us to come and speak on. The burden of interest that is, in summary, the problem we find ourselves, if we become to find ourselves in Nigeria today, is a sort of interest-based economy. That is the summary of it. In the presentation, we have the following content, so that we get, we get a clearer picture of the message being sent by our professor. We have the introduction aspect. I'm reading the contents. The state of Nigeria economy, we need to have an overview of Nigeria economy, analysis of why we are here, where are we in this present trade coming to France. The burden of interest, river, the most dangerous virus, the nascent Islamic finance industry, the position of Islamic finance on interest and speculation, that is a garage, uncertainty, and mainstream gambling, shatter the way forward, then conclusion. Let me start from the introduction. The bullet point made here by our professor, one, the aptness of timing of this presentation the paradoxes of Nigeria economy, the, paris, the, the, the persistence of profiling the same solution, but expecting different results at home. 
that is Nigeria has Nigeria economy has defied all theories, all economic theories. We have, I want to believe all our, our teachers, all of you, you have knowledge of economy. All economic theories, Nigeria economy has defied it. There's no theory of it because of so many reasons which we are going to come across in the presentation. A country of uncountable possibility is Nigeria. This is a presentation. This presentation is based on assumption that Nigeria will operate a double paradigm economic system, that is conventional economic system and uh, Islamic economic system in the next few years. State of Nigeria economy. In 2020, in 2011, let's cast our mind back. Nigeria is a mono economy. We only rely on oil. We are mono economy. Our economy today is oil. In 2021, the average price of oil bar a barrel is $111. In 2012, up to 2020, 2012, I think that was the regime of uh, uh, Jonathan. Oil price had started nose diving by mid 2014, thus obtaining Nigeria revenues and spending uh, pattern or plan. This period was the period. It's of the center period. We have never experienced a very high price of oil. Well, what did we do with that? What, what did we do with that opportunity? We wasted the money. By early 2016, all that oil had is receded to $28 a barrel from $101. That's 2020, uh, 2016, during the time of uh, our past president, Muhammad Buhari. The oil, the oil price was dive to $28 per, per barrel. You need, you need a good deficit of the infrastructures we have. We have to generate resources to fix all deficits. We cannot. We could not find money for that. Consequently, the economy fell into recession in 2016. If you will recall, there was a recession which was reported by Nigeria Statistics. of Statistics. All had. So, consequently, the economy fell into recession in 2016. The first time in 25 years. That was the best recession we had. And we know the implication of recession. Economic recession, economy from recession to depression. We thank Allah we are not able to get to the depression level. In, you know, in a recession and a depression economy, the way out is innovative, innovative thinking. Innovative thinking, creativity is the way, are the way out under economic recessions and economic depression. So after successful quarter of negative growth of our economy, the economy recovered as oil price rebounded, ending 2017. Then there was a rebound of a good oil price from $28 per barrel to $60 per barrel on the average. Now, state of the Nigeria economy continued. The second recession was 2020 and was caused by outbreak of COVID-19. I hope we are following. We, we had another second recession. That was 2020. That was aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic. In this global recession, impacting on the country's major economy. 
In the second quarter 2020, Nigeria GDP gross domestic product, which is the index normally used to know whether the economy is performing or not performing, contracted by 6.1% and uh, again to 3.6% in quarter three of 2020, which for about three years that it will come. So all, all the recovery we had made in the past, this recession had, had wiped it off. But the, the sergeant oil price from 2017, from 2017 could not mask federal government shallow economies, headlined by a confused foreign exchange system, uncoordinated populist schemes, Pathways, sectorial programs, and command economy that inhibit private investment. We had multiple exchange rates. It was never, never, was not part, was not part of a palatable for healing the economy. While the Naira exchange officially at 137.8 Naira to $1 in July 2015, it was 460. 0.97 naira to one dollar by April 2020. At the parallel market, we are the most best. Presently, the rest is story. We know the rate of naira to dollar now. It's around 1,600 or what it, it has gone down to 1,500 uh, 500 plus now. Compare what our past uh, past regime, uh, you know, left. The state of Nigerian economy still continues. Inflation skipped in 2015. Annualized inflation was in single digits at 9 percent. In December, the inflation rate hit 21.47 percent, a seven-year peak. In March, it crumbled to 22 percent as likely to rise higher as government must moving petrol subsidy. Nigeria has never had it so bad with what we are experiencing presently. 